next we are going through learn how to create or plot a circle okay first there is four types of creating a circle center and point first i define as a click left click on screen and it will define my circle and then define a end point of your circle that will create your circle next is concentric circle in concentric circle whenever there is selection available your arrow will be become a black co color of black color okay so if i select this circle a circle concentrated to this circle will be created like this one okay so this is a concentric circle you want to end end this one then press middle click and again start with some one new then select this one select that one and if you want to end this total then double click double mid double middle click on your mouse button okay select all and delete next is three point circle in three point circle you have to click three points on circle nothing next is three tangent circle but you have to require a three tangent okay now i am going to three tangent circle first second and third this is a three tangent circle okay next is arc in arc you can create a three point arc first three point arc first and start if you start with line and and here you can see a tangent a t represent tangent so arc will be created tangent to a line next is three point arc if you want to create a arc you can create easily double click and third point will be define its direction next is center and end arc i will click on here it will define a center and then define a start point of your arc and then end point of your arc it will create center and end arc then as i have defined a three tangent circle i can define a three tangent arc select first second and third this will define three tangent arc next is concentric select this arc and create a concentric arc like clicking over here first start and then end i want to create here start and end i want another one as a center then i select this circle and start creating my arc right this is how it's work next is conic arc you can create your conic you can create conic arcs with the help of this conics are used to design some typical shape like involute parabola it is okay so keep it this keep this thing in your mind in your mind okay next is ellipse ellipse have two types axis and ellipse and center and axis ellipse first axis and ellipse first end and second end then the depth of ellipse this will define your ellipse next is center and axis ellipse define your center and then define your axis as we have defined a center rectangle right so this is how we define a ellipse next is spline spline is used to create an uneven shape that have no dimensions to control this spline have control only on control points 
like this. We can drag these control points and modify our spline. We can fit this spline on any of geometry. And spline is mostly used to design a shape hull and typical geometries. Critical geometries. Okay. Next is sham fillet and then chamfer. Okay. First is select fillet. I have to create a corner rectangle. Then oops. Fillet. Select line and then second line. It will create fillet between those two lines. Okay. Next select this one and this one. It will create a fillet between those two lines. Next circular trim. Select this line and this line. It will create a circular trim. But what is difference between circular and circular trim? Let's see. In circular you can find a construction geometry created over corners. But in circular trim you cannot find those corners or construction lines. Okay, this is the difference between this both. Next is elliptical. With the help of elliptical, you can create your elliptical elliptical fillet. Okay, and you can define both of your axes with elliptical fillet. As same in elliptic elliptical trim, you cannot find those construction lines at the end of your corner. Okay, this is the difference in same as a circular trim and circular fillet okay now i will do undo control z z z z okay next is chamfer select chamfer and first corner second corner first line second line sorry it will create chamfer you can modify its dimension by just double clicking the dimension okay both and every dimension can be modified by just selecting and double clicking it okay next is same for trim so select this line and this line it will define your same for trim and you can adjust your same for okay so this is same for and fillet next is text but before going to text i want to draw a spline that will be useful for future okay going to text select a line and give a height that will create a defined height text okay i will draw here i will type type here take c a r t take card okay and give it okay it will create my text okay now double click on it i have font 3d type of font 3d that font 3d only can be extrude or extruded okay other fonts won't be extrude okay just font 3d can be extruded now if you want to change its position horizontal then it's right now in left if you want to center it you can center it font and font 3d if you want to change its center then center it write it so this is re take reference as a, a first point we have clicked okay now i take it left first middle it will go for middle then top so my point will be on top of your, our text okay this is the aspect ratio where text will be grow more or less text will be included in more area or less area Okay, I will keep it one. Then slanted angle. You can 
क्रिएट असलान टेक्स्ट बाय 60 डिग्री इन पॉजिटिव और 60 डिग्री नेगेटिव दिस इज असलान एंगल नेक्स्ट इज प्लस अलोंग अ कव देन सिलेक्ट अ कव यू कैन प्लस अलोंग द कव आई विल कीप इट बॉटम नाउ सी वी कैन प्लेस ऑन एनी कव लाइक दिस ओके सो दिस इज इनफ फॉर टूडे थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू